equally. However, there is a difference between men and women. And God did not design men and women to do the same exact jobs, to do the same exact things on this earth. And, you know, just, I'm not going to get too far into that, but the most obvious example has to do with the way that our bodies were created and the fact that women have the capabilities of feeding children and giving and birthing children, birthing, feeding, nurturing children that the man doesn't have. So who do we think should be the primary person in rearing the children and watching over just their, 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 their upbringing? If we just go up based off of creation, it seems to make sense that that would be something that a woman should be doing in handling because she's equipped for the job. And when you look at the difference in the strength that men possess, every man possesses over women by nature, the way that God has designed men to have testosterone and their muscles to be stronger. Doesn't it make sense then? Well, if someone has to go and physically do some labor and work, well, naturally, that should be the man's job because that's what they're built to do. I, look, we're breaking this down to like preschool level. But people today are so brainwashed and twisted around backwards that they think what, we're, what we believe is nuts. And it's like, just open up your eyes to creation. It's the way God made it. And we just need to learn to accept it. And I'll tell you what, if you can just accept these really elementary basic truths, your lives will be better and happier. When you start striving against and trying to change the way that God designed things, the way that God planned things, and you, you fight against that, I don't want to fall, I don't want to be in that role. No, I want to be the, you know, the man says, I want to be the one to stay home and rear the kids. And I'm going to send my wife off to do the hard work. That's not going to be a good situation for you. You're not going to be blessed. You're not going to be happy because you're going to be doing things that God didn't design you to do. You're fighting, you're fighting a stupid battle that you, you're making things way more difficult than it has to be. But if we just fall in the line the way that God designed things, everything would go out better. Now,